Okay, I have to start again. <laughs> this is Robin Fishman. F-I-S-H-M-A-N, or a fish and a man. <laughs> Rachel Cash. So how do I do this? Just, okay, okay. I am and Rosen. And if we want to start again, what do we say? We start again? Okay. Cheryl and Evan Rosen. Okay, I'm out. <laughs> do I need to redo that? Or is that okay? Tell me about Maura Sara and why she is deserving to be honored. How does she represent what Mariah stands for? Maura Sara is an amazing teacher. She loves each and every one of her students, and every single day she comes to school ready to learn and teach the children. Her passion and dedication to teaching children Torah is really unmatched. She's always caring for her children, and she always tries to make everything come to life. She loves teaching Kumash. She loves teaching you the language, and her love of learning transfers to her students. I've heard from so many students, well after the years that they've been in Mariah, that they are able to learn Chumash, and they, they have information about Chagim and many Jewish values because of the way Marisara prepared them in third grade. She imparts her love of both um, Judaism, Israel, not Israel, to her students, and that love just um, pours out of all of her students. Every kid who's in her class, we know they will walk out at the end of the year of that class with incredible skills that will serve them well for the rest of their lives. What is your favorite part about teaching third grade? The students come into third grade excited to learn, and I love watching how the students progress from the beginning of the year to the end of the year. She taught me so much about Israel. When we're trying to learn something like a hard Hebrew word, she always has these different tricks to help me remember it in the future. She was really one of the first people that I had that got me very excited about Jewish studies and about um, learning Torah more generally. And, you know, I'm now in graduate school essentially studying Chumash, and she is really the person who put me on that trajectory. El Ha Evan. El Ha Evan. El is one type of Mila. Tell us why Mrs. Fishman is so deserving at being honored at the dinner. The way that she and the children are so close and have such a warm and loving relationship, it's something that I have always aspired to as a teacher. She is someone that I think differentiated instruction way before that term ever existed. Mrs. Fishman is an amazing teacher and an amazing role model as a teacher. Why have you continued to work at Mariah for such a long time? Every year it's a new bunch of children. Everybody's different and I like that. I hear you help our teachers tell me about that and why it's important. It's so important to help other teachers and teach other teachers so they grow in their learning. They teach me a lot too. What's the most important thing that you learned from Mrs. Fishman? Teachers are always learning just like students. She is constantly bringing different programs to Mariah to not only help the students but to help each and every teacher. I had Mrs. Fishman in third grade. We were really lucky and privileged to have a, such an amazing relationship with her. It really showed that she cared about us academically, but also cared about us on a social level and wanted us to be as comfortable as we could be in her class. I love the way she teaches, especially when she told us really funny stories that were really funny. I love that you like my stories and you listen to my stories, because when I tell my husband my stories, he, he doesn't want to hear my stories. Mrs. Fishman's sense of humor, her love of teaching, her enthusiasm, and her dedication to each child and to um, everybody that she works with is truly inspiring. I've never met anyone who is so committed to education and to what they do, and more specifically, uh, committed to their students. What are you most proud of? I'm proud of the programs that I've brought to Mariah. I'm proud of the teachers that I've mentored. I'm proud of being part of Mariah. Mariah Pride.
Tell me about Rachel Catch and why she is deserving to be honored. How does she represent what Mariah stands for? I've had the honor of working with Rachel these past few years since she was in charge of the Parent Liaison Committee here at Mariah. Rachel is a very respectful and talented person. She brings both her parent hat and her professional hat into that role. She sees her projects through from start to finish. She doesn't just bring an idea and wait for somebody else to do it. Rachel's always trying to think of what ways can I think of that will make the school better. Rachel is the quintessential example of one of the greatest strengths of Mariah, and that is an active and committed parent body. She's literally gotten involved in everything and so much of what she does is behind the scenes that most people don't even know about. Why is it important to volunteer your time at Mariah? I just think that it's very important to be involved in my kids' school. The school gives so much to my kids and to our kids and I just want to give something back in return as well. Why do you love Mariah so much? One of the things that I love about Mariah is the emphasis on academic excellence. The fact that it sees each student as an individual. The learning is done in such a way that it helps each child achieve success based on their abilities and based on how they learn. I am happy I spent the last six years at Mariah. Are you happy you sent me here? Yes, we definitely are happy that we sent you here. We really didn't know much about Englewood before we moved here. Actually, I couldn't even find Englewood on a map but we are so happy and we love the Mariah community. We love the friendships that we've made here. Mom, what's for dinner? Oh, good question. <laughs> I think tonight's going to be leftovers. How does that work for you? <laughs> <No>. <laughs>
and values. What can you tell us about Cheryl and Evan Bornstein? They may be um, some of the nicest people I know. Um, they are very dear to me and my family, and I know that they are dear to the whole community. Evan and Cheryl are a great Mariah couple. They're just so incredibly giving of their time to Mariah. I was very, very lucky to work with Evan as my partner. Uh, Evan was chairman of the board of the school. With his partnership with Cheryl, we were able to implement amazing things in Mariah that I feel very proud of. How do they represent what Mariah stands for? So I was very fortunate. Uh, when I first came to the school, Evan Bornstein was chairman of the board. Um, and whenever any issue or topic we dealt with, he was always the voice of reason. Always calm, collected, thoughtful. He is able to help guide a very, very complex process without losing his cool. And Cheryl has always been, like, whatever we ask her for involving math, and she's very involved in names, not numbers, in any of our parent activities, she's always very willing and able to do it for us. Yeah, I feel like over the years, she has probably been involved in almost every volunteer aspect of the school. Mm -hmm. You couldn't even count the amount of things she has been involved in here. Why is it important to give back to your school? I think we recognized early on that volunteerism is a key to the success of communal institutions. And it wasn't sufficient to sit around a Shabbos table and to have a constructive idea or constructive criticism. It was imperative that one actually be involved to affect positive change. They're incredibly giving people, and uh, both Cheryl and Evan have committed time again and again and again, uh, whenever there was a need, uh, wherever there was a need. Why did he send us to Mariah? We wanted to have a warm environment, but it turned out not only is it a warm environment, but also our kids got a great education here and basically built the skills that they will have for a lifetime. What will you miss the most from your time at Mariah? I'm gonna miss so much about Mariah. We've been here, like we said, 18 years and um, we've watched our kids grow from little babies into mature kids. And the friendships that we've made over that time, um, both with parents of our children's friends, with teachers, administrators, and others, those are bonds that we presume will last a lifetime. How does it feel to not have to do another dinner video? I'm gonna miss the dinner videos. Actually a lot of fun, particularly watching people having to redo their takes over and over and over. From working with alongside, working alongside of Evan, he was, all right, I don't like it. But it's really been a privilege to be in a position to acknowledge a lot of the leaders who have preceded me and others who have been deservingly honored. You've been in Mariah for so long, it's really time for you to get honored. <laughs> All those years ago, we recognized that if we volunteered, we might be honored at a Mariah oh, dinner. Oh yeah, that's definitely it. And so this was a conspiracy and a scheme that we hatched many years ago. Thankfully, it's we weren't come supposed to, to say fruition. anything. <laughs> <laughs>I love, obviously, all the children in Mariah and the students. I never felt so supported and engaged by teachers. Mariah has treated my children with so much love and care.